Hello everyone! My name is Jennifer Whip, and I'm the Child and Youth Services Librarian here at Gravenhurst Public Library. I am very excited to be talking to you today about our Summer 2021 Children's Programming Lineup. Let's uh, take some time and talk about all of the fun things that are going to be happening here at Gravenhurst Public Library that you and your family can get involved with. First up, I just want to note that you can access our full Summer 2021 Children's Programming brochure online at bit.ly forward slash GPL Summer 2021. Kicking off our summer are our Canada Day Summer Kickoff Kits. These kits are filled with family fun after dark activities. So inside of these kits, you are going to find things like glow sticks, glow in the dark tattoos, nighttime scavenger hunts, campfire stories and songs. You're going to find um, star wheels and constellation apps, as well as a nocturnal, nocturnal animal coloring pages um, and lots more. So you can register for your kits now. Just call us or you can send me an email and we will get your kit ready. We just need to know how many members of your family will be participating, so we make sure we have enough in your kit for everyone. Then once the kits are prepped, we'll give you a call or an email to let you know it's time to schedule a curbside pickup to come and grab your family fun after dark Canada Day summer kickoff kit. Woo! Up next, I wanna tell you all about our fairy fun program. Our Fairy Fun program will be starting on July 5th and be running all summer. It's intended for um, children of all ages. Whoever wants to participate is absolutely welcome. Uh, so what is our Fairy Fun program? Well, there's lots of different parts, but first up, and most importantly, we're gonna be building a fairy garden right here at Gravenhurst Public Library. So you and your family can come and take a look at our fairy garden. It'll be out and available um, for you to come and explore during our open hours throughout the week. Um, as another part of that, you can look for two hidden geocaches within our gardens here at the Gravener's Public Library. So you can do that using the geocache app or website. Uh, there's more information on there for how geocaching works, but essentially what you're going to be doing is searching for a hidden rock that has a um, piece of paper inside where you can sign your name to say that you found the uh, geocache, the very fun geocaches. Also, you can register as a part of our Fairy Fun program for your own Fairy Door DIY kit. You're going to be able to start your own Fairy Garden at home by making your own Fairy Door. How fun is that? Um, next up, we have a Fairy Pen Pal program. Um, so we will have a mailbox available with our Fairy Garden where your children can drop off letters to the fairies. Give us your return address and the fairies will mail a letter back to you and your family responding. Um, finally, we will also have a special uh, fairy story time scheduled for that week, uh, so the week of July 5th that the fairy garden becomes available, so you can listen to a fairy story and get a fairy wand craft. To register for our fairy fun program, just like all of the others, you can call us or you can email me. Next on our list of programs to talk about is our TikTok Trick Shots Contest. Woo, say that five times fast. Uh, so what is our TikTok Trick Shots Contest? Well, the idea is we wanna see what you got. Film yourself making an insane uh, trick shot, upload the video to social media, and tag the library on one of our many social media accounts. The contest is open to people of all ages, so littlest littles to biggest bigs. It will open on the 2nd of July and closes on the 27th of August. We'll be announcing the winner at our end of summer celebration on September 1st. Um, the winner will of course be getting a prize for their amazing uh, TikTok trick shot. Um, so stay tuned for the announcement of what the prize is going to be. Um, additionally, you can register to get a kit if you need materials uh, for filming your TikTok trick shot. Uh, so we'll provide you with a ping pong ball, a cup, and a um, target for you to use in your video. To register for a kit, you can email me or call us at the library. Now let's talk about our Music for Minis program. 
This program was designed for children 18 months to four years old, although children five and six would probably still enjoy this. Um, it's intended for littles and their parents or caregivers to enjoy together. So what is it? Um, every Thursday at 10 a.m. in July and August, starting July 8th, we will be releasing a Music for Minis video on YouTube that you can follow along with at home. These videos are gonna focus on music, dance, um, movement and exercise, as well as early literacy skills. So we're gonna be working on fine and gross motor skills. We're gonna be working on keeping rhythm and beat. We're gonna be working on uh, physical phonics and really hearing and exploring the sounds in, uh, in the English language. Um, to participate in this, you need to register, and then you can sign out a Music for Minis instrument set that will come with an exercise ball, as well as um, some rhythm sticks and musical shakers. It's gonna be a really fun program, really engaging, um, lots of fun songs that we're all familiar with. So definitely sign up today. You can call us to register or email me. Moving on, I wanna tell you all about our story walk. So, Gravenhurst Public Library has partnered with Early on Muskoka, the town of Gravenhurst, and many downtown businesses to put this together. So the idea is that starting July 1st, you'll be able to come to the library um, to start your story walk journey. So at Gravenhurst Public Library, hung up in our window will be the first page of the story, looking for a moose. You and your family can follow a digital or print map around town to the various locations so you can read the story. It'll start at Gravenhurst Public Library and end at the Early on Muskoka Building on Brock Street. Um, in addition to this, each storefront, so each participating business downtown, will also have a moose plushie that you are going to be looking for. So you're gonna be playing I Spy along the way. Um, of course, when participating in this, we ask that you follow all current health and safety protocols um, and, and guidelines, you know, keep your physical distancing, wear a mask, etc. But it should be a really fun program, get you out in downtown Gravenhurst. Um, it's a giant game of I Spy that takes place all over town. You don't need to register for this. It'll be available 24 seven starting on that July 1st date. Um, if you have any questions, you can call us or you can email me. As we do every summer, we will also be running a primary and junior summer reading club. Every week, your child is going to get a craft kit from the library. They're gonna be able to watch a virtual reading on YouTube. Um, they'll be able to participate in challenges and activities, and they'll be able to explore a virtual book display, all while earning tickets for the end of summer draw, which will happen at our end of summer celebration on September 1st. So, how do you participate? Well, first up, you need to register. Then we can set up your child's account on Seesaw, which is the platform through which we'll be running these programs. So the um, primary summer reading club is for children who are in kindergarten to grade three, and the junior summer reading club will be for children who are in grade four to six. Um, every week we'll release a new theme, new topics, and new fun for your children. Uh, we will also be meeting every week on Zoom, although this is not mandatory, it's not required to participate in the program, but just for some added fun and some socialization, we'll meet every week on Zoom. So uh, the Primary Summer Reading Club will meet on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. and the Junior Summer Reading Club will meet on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. The program starts on July 7th, so call or email me to register. Next up in our summer programming lineup is our Kids Who Code program. This is a four week program intended for children ages eight to 12 that will run in July, starting Thursday, July 8th. We'll meet every Thursday at 2 p.m. on Zoom. In this program, children are going to get to learn the absolute basics of coding, um, starting with drop and drag coding. Moving up to an actual programming language, we'll be tackling Python. Um, they're gonna get to use video games, uh, cartoon creation platforms, and really fun simulators uh, to learn coding basics. So this is for absolute beginners. Um, it can also be for children who know a little bit about coding and wanna hone their skills. Registration is required, and we do ask that you attend weekly. Um, call or email me to register.
This next program is for kids who are absolutely obsessed with anime and crazy about cartoons. It's our Animation Experts program. This four week program will run every Tuesday at 2 p.m. on Zoom in July, starting July 6th. It's for children ages eight to 12. Um, kids are gonna get to learn the foundations of animation, the history of cartoons, and the science behind animations and optical illusions. This uh, part one is very hands-on and low-tech. Children will get a take and make kit with all the supplies that they need. Um, and they're gonna really get to move from fun projects like zoetropes and flip books to more complicated projects like stop motion animation. Registration is required, so register today. You can do that by calling the library or emailing me. Part two of our Animation Experts program will be running in August, starting August 10th. Um, we'll be meeting every Tuesday at 2 p.m. on Zoom. This program is intended for children ages eight to 12, just like part one. Uh, children will not need a take and make kit for this program, however, because it's gonna be focusing entirely on digital animation techniques. So we're gonna be looking at 2D animation, um, 3D computer animation. We're gonna be talking about anime and machinima and a lot more. Registration for this program opens on July 26th, so stay tuned for that. Of course, you can't have summer library programming without having a story time. So this summer, every Tuesday at 10 a.m., we will be releasing a story time video filled with silly songs and finger plays, a great story, and a craft. Every week, you'll be able to come to the library and pick up your story time craft kit so you can follow along at home. This program is intended for children who are preschool age and is packed full of silly songs um, and fun activities. So in your Take and Make kit, you're gonna be getting a book list, you'll be getting coloring pages, the weekly craft, um, finger plays, and a lot more. You don't need to register for this program. Instead, you can schedule a curbside pickup to grab your kit, um, or you can stop by the library during our open hours and grab a kit from our grab and go table. Finally, I wanna to talk to you about our STEAM Team program. This program will run every week in August and requires weekly registration. Registration opens on August 26th. Every Monday in August at 10 a.m., we'll be releasing a STEAM Team video focusing on one of these STEAM um, topics, so science, technology, engineering, arts, or mathematics on YouTube. Children will get a take and make kit every week so they can follow along with the activities. So we're gonna be doing things like making LED lightning bugs, um, we're gonna be making crash test cars, and a lot more fun hands-on activities. This program is for children ages six to 10. Uh, when registration opens, you can call or email to register. And that is our summer 2021 children's programming lineup. Just for your information, our phone number here at Gramers Public Library is 705-687-3382 and my email is jennifer.whip at gravenhurst.ca. Have a great summer everyone and I can't wait to see you around the library. Bye.